this is a no spoiler review, so I can't say much, but here goes. So this is a movie that came out during the full swing of COVID back in 2020. Written by Adam Egypt Mortimer and starring Joe Manganiello. Yes, that's right, Deathstroke. That Joe Manganiello. Or for D&D fans, he's the guy that stole the hand of Vecna. Arch Enemy is an indie film which gained traction at film festivals. It's supposed to be one of a trilogy of movies by Mortimer. The first being Daniel Isn't Real, a story about a guy with a dangerous imaginary friend. The second being Arch Enemy, and the third having yet to be made. But supposedly it's going to combine those two movies together. Anyway, Mangianello didn't need to take this role, but the fact that he did impresses me with his acting prowess and willingness to make a great movie, even if it's not a huge Hollywood production. Joe Mangianello plays an angry, depressed homeless man who likes to tell his life story in exchange for whiskey. It makes me want to go and listen to the stories of homeless people in exchange for alcohol. He captures the dream we all share of being something greater than what others see in us, claiming that he is a superhero from another dimension who lost his powers coming to Earth. He is befriended by a kid named Hamster, somebody who wants to become a blogger. Hamster just likes the concept of a homeless man telling a great story, but then it gets real. The story leaves you hanging until it explains everything towards the end, with a slight twist. You really wonder if this guy is a bum or a hero. It could go either way. All of the hero stuff is shown in animated format, so it's easy to think that the guy is just drunkenly daydreaming of being a superhero. And it really captures that well. It's not like Space Jam, where the cartoon and reality scenes just don't belong together. This mixture is done right. It gives you a blend of fantasy and then cold, stark reality. It has a lot of familiar faces, too. Skylin Brooks plays Hamster. You may have seen him in iCarly back in 2009, or Empire more recently. Zoli Griggs plays his sister Indigo. You may have seen her in the Wu-Tang and American Saga TV show. The rest of the cast has been all over TV and movies as well. All in all, this is a really good breath of fresh air from the typical superhero movie. It's not just worth a watch, it's worth owning. Do yourself a favor and pick it up. You'll want to watch it twice just to appreciate exactly how the story unfolds. Mm -hmm.